Hi, this is Janos, it's Real World Audio, and I'm looking at one of my previous videos and looking at the comments. <laughs> and uh, the dr video I'm looking at is the Steas driver find for void pipe. Will it live up to the Cube Audio FC8? And there I had a wonderful comment by Gavin, Gavin Hodson. And uh, he shared, I'm looking at my screen there. Uh, he shared that he, he just heard a demo of a pair of the Cube Audio, Jason and Nanofar speakers. And, um, and this is what he shared about it. They are pretty similar level of performance, to be honest, with the Nanofar having a smidge more polish detail and sound stage. But I would happily go for the F10 Select, given the cost-benefit ratio. So basically, the, the smaller driver, the FC8, has, has, has a more, more polish detail and sound stage to it, but the FT, F10, the bigger one, let's see what it does. The F10 Select driver holds a lot of promise, detailed, dynamic, it does bass and has great width height to the sound stage. But it was for me shouty and lacked sound stage depth because it was so forward in the vocal region. So what was happening there, I think, because uh, in the case of the FC8, it's an 8-inch main cone plus the visor cone, and for the F10 Select, we have a 10-inch driver and a similar size visor cone section to it. And when there's a bigger difference between the main cone and the visor cone, then it will uh, be more shouty in comparison. And um, Gavin is asking if we could solve this problem with the uh, EQ. And, and I think yes and no. My answer is yes and no. Because you technically can put in an EQ there and, and solve the shoutiness. But when you put in an EQ, that's when you take away the greatest benefit of the single driver speaker. That is, there's nothing between the amp and the loudspeaker. When you put an EQ there, yeah, it will take down that shoutiness, but it will also take away that layer of detail and, and perception and dynamics as well. So that's not the solution. So, so what do I offer as a solution for that? So number one. The main difference between these two drivers and the speakers that go with them is not which one is better, but which one suits what kind of room, because they suit different room acoustics. So in that room where you heard them, that's when the FC8 was playing better. That, that, that had the optimal level of mids, lows to highs. And, and the F10 Select was not a good match for that room. So the F10 Select would be a good match for those rooms which are really dead, where you don't hear the high frequencies, they are deadened. So the, the room is more dampened. And in those rooms, they just sound just right. Uh, so, so I would say that one works in one room better than the other. And also for the FC8, it depends on the, the cabinet and the room as well, how good the base is that you perceive of it. And, um, and also not just the room, but the amplifier balance. So, so I think if you hear any of these speakers and, and you like them and you, and you feel that there are shortcomings that you would like them to overcome, in my experience, the answer with with high-level single driver speakers have always, always and always been with fixing the room and the rest of the system. So the, the amplifier loudspeaker interface is beyond critical for single driver speakers. So if we want better bass, then we have to match the amplifier better. And that means customizing our power amplifiers to match the loudspeakers better. Also, uh, we can work on the room to make things better. And I know this, this sounds a lot heavier than, than just looking for a new speaker or something like that, but, but that, that's the reality. That, that's what I found in my journey, in my search. And uh, 
and and those are my two cents about uh, the difference between uh, these uh, two cube audio drivers or or the speakers using them and and what can be done when when we have a perceived eq balance and and this solution for the perceived eq balance is not just for the cube audio loudspeakers it goes for every loudspeaker is that when you have a loudspeaker that is really forward those loudspeakers are for rooms that are massively deadened and, and sound dead and in those cases the choice is not to just crank up your tweeter or, or get like a two-way or a super tweeter or something like that but get a loudspeaker that has a natural balance like that uh, that, that puts out more highs to compensate for the deadness of the room and in that case you don't need to add any additional gizmo to fix up the lack of uh, high frequencies in the in that room so so i think mm, that's what i realized that that's my impression in my audio journey that uh, it's not that there's a best loudspeaker but uh, there's a right loudspeaker for every room and and when you have that you have the basis for growth and then our most fruitful avenue is to optimize the amplifier for that loudspeaker room combination so thank you gavin for your wonderful comment it, i know it was already a month ago but uh, lately i had extremely little time and and just received lots of wonderful comments so thank you thank you for your comment uh, and everyone uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye